This is recording, right? Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming something a little bit different to what I normally do, and I'm going to be reading some entries from my high school diaries. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna regret this before I've even started. Stay tuned if you wanna hear some hot goss. So first, um, we're just gonna address the fact that yes, I am in my pajamas, because I had a bath, so, you know. The first thing we need to address with regards to my diaries is, um, the front cover and the back cover actually so who's even on here I think I was <laughs> slightly boy obsessed so we got um Corey Monteith god rest his soul what's his name Taylor Taylor Lautner um Robert Pattinson uh Nick Jonas Justin Bieber of course the lots of Justin Bieber mm. <laughs> on the front there's a sticker that says the future misses with like a dotted line for you to put like Mrs. Bieber or whatever and it has um, the surname of the guy that I fancied for most of my high school life who I'm not gonna name also disclaimer I won't be naming any names in this aside from like my best mates that I'm still friends with so yeah but if you watch this and you were involved in my high school life then uh, you'll probably know which bits are about you anyway then on the back we've got JLS who Joe McEldry fucking hell this is old the entire Glee cast, more JLS, Puck from Glee, what's his name, Mark fucking Salling, I mean R.I.P but also fucking child pornography, and Kevin Jonas, I think I just felt a bit bad for him, so I've got a little tiny sticker of him right here, um, so yeah, another uh, fun fact about my high school diary ing, so this was like the OG, and then one day, me and my friend Elle went to, I think it was like WH Smith or something, and I saw this, and I really liked it, I thought it was really pretty. So me being me, I was like, oh, I don't want to wait till I finish this one, to start writing in this one. So I sat there for a good, like, two, three hours, right, copying out all of my entries from this one into this one, and then continued writing in this one, so there's actually a bit more in this one. I was that extra. I've got my name in like cool little jewel thingies and I've bookmarked all the pages that I want to read. Some things I'm going to go through quite quickly, some things I'm going to explain in more detail. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this and let's get on with it. We're going to start with the OG one. So you open it and then you got this book belongs to Natalie Elena Kiriakou and then a picture of uh, some stickers of Fern Cotton, uh, Leon Lewis, some guy from some show and Rihanna and then I've got like a list here that says this book contains secrets, thoughts, wishes, dreams, ambitions, profiles, people I like, people I dislike, friends, foes, family, fucking hell, diary entries, special days slash dates, things I'm looking forward to, things I'm dreading, worries, insecurity, securities, is that meant to say insecurities, who knows, Plans, things to do, school life, home life, people in general, hobbies, favourite things to do, anything and everything. Well, I could have just fucking written that in the first place, really. Just about everything there is to know about me. Cute. And then it starts with like an all about me page. Flipping address and mobile number, uh, as if I'm writing a fucking CV. So the first page. Secrets. Hmm, where to start? Number one, I like a boy called blank blank blank. Everyone at school knows because he told them. I've literally written the he in italics. Number two, part of the reason why I wanted a fringe was to cover my spots. Lol, they're getting worse instead of better. Not good. Insert picture of me with a fringe here. We won't talk about that. It, it was not a good hair time for me. Number four, sometimes I wish that I had no parents and no sister and it could just be le me living with one of my best friends. Bliss. Wow, the angst. I haven't actually read through all of these like thoroughly. I just read a bit and was like, yeah, that's going in there and bookmarked it. Oh, fuck off. Right, so there's a lot in here about like different boys that I liked. You'll, you'll come to realise that. Also, this page it says 10 reasons why I'm absolutely, positively, definitely in love with blank blank. And then I've got like a fucking tenfold list. Wow, judging myself. The next page we've got things I am dreading. 
parents' evening, my period, detentions, nightmares. What I did was, <clears throat> after all these things happened, I then put in brackets next to them how they went. We got parents' evening, brackets, went fine, my period, dot dot dot, started. Detentions, have had eight, god I got so many detentions in high school, shit I really did. Um, nightmares, brackets, haven't had any, oh that's good. Yeah, then I used to write like, lists of like, my top ten, like, good looking boys that I knew, because... I was thirsty F. Oh, this is just a page of stickers of girls. Is this when I realised I was a bit gay? Uh, Miley Cyrus, Kristen Stewart. 20th of October, 2010. Dear Diary, we finished school today for the first half term of year eight. I have so much to tell you. Me and blank went out, as you know, then broke up, and now we're going out again. But all my friends hate us together. Oh, girl, the drama. You should dump him. He's an idiot. He's a twat. I really don't give a shit about what others say. After all, it's my opinion that counts, right? Oh, yes, girl, stick to yourself. I don't have a reason for liking him. I just do. Okay, firstly... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, firstly, he's not good looking. Girl! Why were you going out with this boy if you didn't think he was good looking? Fix up. Second, he has more mood swings than a stroppy 16 year old on her effing period. Thirdly, he can be really mean sometimes. And lastly, he gets jealous all the time, which is sweet and annoying at the same time. So now I'm gonna draw a table listing the pros and cons of blank, which I then went on to do on the next day. I love how I've got pros, cons, which is double the amount of the pros, and then underneath the pros I've got more cons. January 2011. Dear diary, wow, long time no write. Anyway, I have to catch you up on so much news. Here it is in brief, I'll expand on them later. Number one, I don't like blank anymore. Oh, that was this was this guy, he was like the year below me or something, and I kind of fancied him because he looked a bit like Justin Bieber. I did like blank, but not anymore. That was a guy from Greek school, and anyone that went to Greek school with me who's watching this, y'all know about that. Number three, blank bought me a Christmas prezi, and now he hates me. Confused much? That was a guy that liked me, that bought me a Christmas present, because he really liked me, and everyone told me how much he liked me, and I was like, I don't like you, soz. I didn't say that to him, like, obviously. But he bought me a Christmas present, and then ended up hating me. But anyway. Number four, I dumped blank on the last day before Christmas, and then asked him back out after like 20 minutes. Girl, what is wrong with you? I honestly, I could not make up my mind. Brackets, I only dumped him because the girls told me to. Well, if the girls tell you to, you have to do it. Number five, I dumped blank for what I hope is the last time about eight weeks ago because I was sick of him liking other girls. That's the same blank as number four. So that's just me elaborating saying, I hope this is the last time that I've dumped him. Um, and I was sick of him liking other girls, one of which was uh, one of my best friends, who is still one of my best friends now. You know who you are. He begged me not to, but I wouldn't give in. Yes, queen, stick to your ground, dump that boy. Same boy. Blank pretended to not like me and liked, insert names of three of my friends here, within four days. So he apparently, yeah, liked three of my uh, best mates but in the space of like four days. He told me yesterday that he still loves me and he's jealous of a different boy. Look down for explanation. Oh, thanks, Nats. I have thought blank, this is another guy now, was cute for months now and I dumped it. Oh, Girl, I nearly spilled. <clears throat> Let me try that again. I have thought blank was cute for months now and I dumped blank and started liking him and he liked me. He asked me out. I said yes. He's so nice and cute, and at the moment we're at the hand-holding stage. Oh, girl, yes, get it. Right, okay, so, moving swiftly onwards, completely ignoring the fact that I nearly, uh, named names. 19th of Feb, 2011. Dear Diary, went to, went to Harrow with Kitty today, that's Catherine, who's still one of my best friends to this day, to see Never Say Never. It was amazing. I'm officially in love with Justin Bieber. I want to marry him. I actually cried. He is gorgeous, capital letters, exclamation mark. Oh, and also, me and Kat have bought those baseball jackets from New Look. I heart them. Still got mine, by the way. Still got it, Catherine. Don't know about you. Still got it. <laughs> mine is black and white with an N on it, and it exactly matches the top that I've got. Destiny March. Oh, and also, I got real crafty with this. At the back, I used some card to make a little, like, pocket. I don't know if you can see. I made a little pocket to put little things in. I don't know if there's anything in it. 
we're going to go on to the slightly more updated one. My top 10 boys lists. I also had these two pages where I wrote all the a list of all the boys I've been out with, all the boys I've ever liked, all the boys that have ever liked me, and all the boys that have asked me out. I'm going to like flip this round real quick just so you can sort of get a gist of what it looks like, but not long enough so you can actually read the names, but there you go. Blah, 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 Steph's bisexual, blah, 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 blah. This is all about Steph and Steph's sexuality because that was important for me to write about in my diary, apparently. So, 9th of April, 2011, 1.21am. Dear diary, guess what? I'm going out with blank blank again. Yeah, I had like a thing in high school where apparently I kept going back to the same people. So there was one guy that I went out with about 10 times between like year six and year 11 or something. Another guy I went out with twice, another guy I went out with twice, another guy I went out with three times. Like, I don't know what was wrong with me, but anyway. Oh, and blank is going out with blank blank, finally. This was a mate of mine that I kind of got her and her now ex-boyfriend together. Blank put his arm around me at lunch the other day and I leant on him and blank looked well jealous. Oh, look at me playing the field. Bless him. I understand how hard it is for him to watch me and blank together, but oh well, life must go on. <laughs> Savage. Okay, so next we have... Oh, okay. This was a scandal at the time, okay? So I had a sleepover with like six of my best mates at the time. They all came around, slept over, whatever. I will read you the story of what happened because it really was just a very traumatic experience for me. And if you remember this, if you were around at the time and you remember this, then let me know because still haven't uh, solved the mystery. We had a sleepover, talked, bitched a hell of a lot, but it was funny and talked about boys. We woke up the next day, watched TV, talked and played footy, okay. Then Pauline came and picked up the girls. Pauline is Catherine's mum. She's lovely. Only me and Ashling were left. We went up to tidy my room and I realised that my pink Pandora replica bracelet wasn't on the desk where I'd left it. I was obsessed with this bracelet. This was... I did have a real Pandora bracelet, but I was like, I don't want to wear that to school in case A, I lose it or B, it gets confiscated. So I had a sort of replica one that my mum got me, I think, which had like all pink beads and charms on it. It was really pretty. I really liked it. And I wore it every day to school, even though I wasn't really allowed to. The amount of times I got all my bracelets confiscated by Mr. Walton, I'm pretty sure they're probably still at Cardinal Wiseman somewhere. There's like a box of just all my jewellery that I never got back. Ashling said it was probably on the floor, so we tidied everything but couldn't find it. We then searched every nook and cranny. This is where it gets dramatic, okay? Every room, cupboard, drawer, box, pillowcase, blanket, bag, gap and hole. Nothing. Not a bead. Not a trace. Nothing. It then hit me, like a ton of bricks. One of my best friends, so you say, had stolen it. I was fuming, furious and upset. How could they do this to me? Were they annoyed with me? Holding a grudge? Getting revenge? Or did they simply just not like me? These questions racked mine and Ashling's brains. They still are now. Just thinking about it makes me angry. Everyone knows that's one of my favourite bracelets which I wear every single day. Well, not anymore. And then I go on to break down the situation and the likelihood of who may or may not have taken it based on various different factors which I'm not going to go into. Um, yeah, so still never found it and never going to. So there you go. It goes 16th of April 2011, 7.25pm. Things I don't like about myself. I'm chubby, bracket legs. Still true. I'm quite ugly, brackets, with spots. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. Just, I'm quite ugly, with spots. I mean, I don't have spots anymore. I mean, my skin's glowing. I have a huge nose. I mean, it's really not that big. I, it used to be a big deal to me. Now I don't really care. quite like it, actually. Bad eyebrows. I mean, I've pretty much sorted those out now. They're not looking great. Need to pluck a few hairs here and there, but they're a lot better than they were. My feet smell when I wear tights. Still true. Anyone that wears, you know, like, black school tights, you know the struggle. I don't know what it is. They make your feet smell so bad at the end of the day. Don't think there's a cure for it. Oh well. Um, my nails are horrible. Eh, they're not actually that bad anymore. Now they're alright. They're good. My hair is horrid unless I straighten it. Not true. I've actually come to like my hair quite a bit more over recent years. I know how to style it and how to work with it. I haven't straightened it in bloody ages actually. I can't be bothered anymore. It's so long it takes me way too long to straighten so I'm just like nah. And then here is the list of things I like about myself. 
My lips, hyphen, quite nice shape. True, I guess. Hips, curvy with a figure. True. Skinny upper body, mostly true now. Um, nice hair when straightened. Again, going back to what I said about my hair just now, I don't really straighten it anymore much at all, and I just chuck it in a whatever it will do, or I braid it most of the time now. Skinny lower legs, although, in saying that, my ex, the one that is referenced a lot in these diaries, did tell me once, I think in about year six, he said to me, I have big calves, and that's always stuck with me. I'm like, ah, oh, thanks. I then went on to date you. Nice eye colour, yeah, I guess. Um, I can sing, I can act, I'm quite smart. Ah, oh, okay, so I wasn't too horrible to myself then, and those are all still pretty much true. Oh god, okay. So, 14th of May 2011, 6.37pm. Dear Diary, big problem. I like not one, not two, but three boys. Blank, 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 and blank, blank. Why is this a problem? Well, um, and then I've got reason, a list of reasons for liking each one of them. Jesus fucking Christ, I have way too much time. So, let me tell you all the news and hot gossip. Number one, blank likes blank. Number two, blank likes blank. Why did I care so much about other people liking other people? I don't know. Uh, number four, I like blank again. This is that same guy that I have mentioned for most of this. Um, and we're going out again. I hear you ask, how? Why? I thought you liked blank. Well, let me walk you through it. I soon found out after I told blank I loved him that I actually didn't. So I told him, oh girl, the savage. Oh God. Then blank started to charm me again. How? Well, he kept doing what he used to do. In DT, he would stare at me until I looked up. He would put his face really close to mine. So he kept asking me out and eventually I said yes by text. By text. Then this is about my friend's boyfriend hating me. That was a fun time. And then the last diary entry in here is from 13th of February, 2012. Dear diary, having an awesome day so far with Catherine. We went to Nando's and had the best talks about literally everything, although we've still got loads to talk about. So excited for our sleepover later. We haven't had one in ages, so it was about time. Didn't get to go out with blank, but as much as I like him, I'd much rather be with Catherine. Aw, look at me being all loyal to my friends. We are so Rocky and Cece, oh my god. Me and Catherine used to be obsessed with Shake It Up. Like, she would come round to my house, or I would go round to her house, and we would watch their dance videos, like, over and over and over again, and learn the routines, and just, like, do their dance routines, and we thought we were the shit. So, uh, yeah, thought I'd end with a nice, pure one. But that was me reading my old high school diaries. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I've got more recent diaries from uh, sixth form and I don't know if I wrote anything really at uni but I've definitely got some stuff about sixth form so if you want to hear more juicy gossip from my life then let me know and I will make a part two where I read my more recent diaries so just let me know and I'll do that for you as always if you have any other ideas for videos I can make or challenges I can do or songs you would like me to cover or if you would like to be featured on my channel um, I'm always looking for people to collab with um, I think it's really fun so if you want to be on my channel and you have a video idea just let me know and I'll probably say yeah let's go for it so yeah I hope you enjoyed my video don't forget to give it a like uh, subscribe and comment anything you fancy just don't be mean to me please thanks I will see you guys soon bye